Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Trigger Warning Radio. I am your host, the Kaiju Conservative, and let's talk about the school shooting that happened in Maryland earlier this week, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we, we have to talk about it because nobody else is. I mean, aside from, from Fox News and, and conservative media um, and some of the local media, this story has not gotten a whole lot of play on some of the big liberal networks like CNN and MSNBC. So a really quick run through if you're not familiar with what happened. So this, this piece of, of human excrement, Austin Wyatt Rollins, a 17-year-old student, uh, went into his uh, high school with a with a nine millimeter that he he took from his dad, a gun he was not supposed to have. Uh, he brought that into his school and he opened fire uh, and he shot two people. Now, luckily, the only person killed in this shooting was the gunman. Why? Because the school resource officer, Deputy First Class Blaine Gaskill managed to take him down. I mean, the the resource officer did exactly what he was there to do. He protected those kids at that school, responded within, within almost within seconds. I think, I think, uh, uh, one of the stories that I read said uh, he responded within one to two minutes, uh, of the shooting and he, he took the shooter down with a single shot. And it, thank God he was there because, it could have been a lot worse. It, 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 I mean, Deputy Gaskell, he is without a doubt a hero. And it's not the first time um, that he's, he's faced danger, ladies and gentlemen. There was another story uh, on him earlier in the week about how he, he basically stared down a man with a gun during a domestic dispute. And if you look at if you look at a picture of this guy, I mean, he, he just he just everything about him screams badass. I mean, he's he just looks like a he's a no nonsense cop, you know, eats iron nails for breakfast, that sort of thing. He looks like a total badass. So thank God he was there, and I will guarantee you, every single parent at that school is probably saying the exact same thing. Thank God that there was an armed resource officer at that school to stop that shooting. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is is why the left is refusing to talk about this. They they they're not they're compl- almost completely ignoring this. You heard about it for for a couple of days, maybe a day or two after it happened. Of course, when it happened, the left was just salivating, as they always do, because they were expecting, you know, mass shooting, high body count, and another, another, uh, notch on the belt to add to the, to the gun control narrative. And when they didn't get that, when they found out that it was a good guy with a gun who stopped the school shooting, they kind of pushed it off to the side and went back to Parkland and Russia, Parkland especially, um, and, and completely ignored it. Now, with, with, with this shooting, ladies and gentlemen, this illustrates the, the exact point that conservatives have been making ever since Parkland. It's not laws that stop these shootings, ladies and gentlemen. Because Rollins, he had a gun he was not supposed to have, okay? He can't even buy a gun legally in the state of Maryland. You have to be 21 to buy a gun in the state of Maryland. There are very restrictive gun laws in Maryland. A lot of those gun laws, such as the 21-year-old age limit to purchase a gun, are laws that people want enacted nationally and laws that other states have enacted, such as the state of Florida. So, None of these laws prevented that shooting. None of these laws kept Rollins from grabbing a gun from his dad. We don't know how he got access to it yet, but nothing, no law stopped him from grabbing a gun that he should not have had, taking it into his school, and opening fire. You know? It's, it, <laughs> laws do not prevent school shootings, people. This is what we keep trying to say on the right. This is what we, this is what we're, we've been saying after every single school shooting. The only thing that stops a school shooting, the only thing that stops a school shooter is a good guy with a gun, as happened in this case. If that resource officer wasn't there, we would have at least two dead bodies on our hands. And we may have had more dead bodies on our hands. 
it, he may have um, – there's there's reports that he was involved with the girl that he shot, and, and that's why he brought the gun to school and, and shot her and tried to kill her. But we don't know that for sure, that that was the reason why. We, we don't, and we don't know that he would have stopped at killing that girl. He may have just decided to, you know, go out in a blaze of glory – and 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 get some of that uh, some of that sweet sweet uh, mainstream media Parkland fame that uh, that that would rub off on him. He may have had he may have had more plans, or he may not have had plans. He may have just kept on shooting. We don't know that for sure, but we do know that the resource officer that was there did his job, unlike the ones un- unlike the sheriff's deputy at Parkland, unlike De- Deputy Peterson down in Parkland. He did his job and he stopped the shooter. And this is what we're trying to get in schools across the country. Yes, it's a bad thing that we need to have armed security at our schools. It's a, it's a horrible thing that we need to have armed security at our schools, that, that we need to protect our schools from this type of violence. But you know what? It is a necessary thing. Just because it's a terrible thing doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. Just because it may scare some kids doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. I would rather have every single solitary kid in this country scared of a police officer or an armed security guard with a gun than to have one more shooting where dozens of people are killed. And I think I think most people in America would want that to happen as well. But of course, like I said in my opening, the mainstream media is is not going to touch this. It's it it destroys their narrative. The narrative that they've been building since Parkland is that we need laws to prevent gun violence. We need gun control. We need gun bans. We need we need age limits. We need magazine size limits. We need in fact it's and it's going to progress to we need to just ban guns completely. You know, why have guns around at all? That's going to be the question that the ma- the media and the left is going to start asking very soon. And and <laughs> And if, if folks, if 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 you want any clearer evidence that the mainstream media does not want to look at this, does not want to even consider this because it would destroy their narrative, look at what they've done with with Parkland student Kyle Kashev. You know, Kyle Kashev, he's bucking the trend uh, among the Parkland students that are that are uh, prominent in the media. He is he is not pro gun control. He's not necessarily anti gun control, but he needs he's, he feels we need to take steps to secure schools before doing anything else. And see he he was he was scheduled to go on CNN the other day for an interview and CNN dropped him. CNN refused to have him on. They 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 canceled the interview. They don't want to have him on. Why? Because he is not a gun control advocate. He's a Parkland student who is not crowing about how we need to about how we need to to get rid of all the guns, about how the NRA is killing kids and 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 how the Republicans are evil. He's not following that leftist line. And they the, as a result, leftists don't want him don't want him on their networks. They don't want him him reaching anybody with his message. They you know, they they don't want a common sense argument on gun control. They don't want a discussion at all with this, ladies and gentlemen. The discussion for the left with gun control is you either ban guns or you are in favor of kids being killed. If you're not going to ban guns, you may as well just grab a gun yourself and go shoot up a school. That's how the left is looking at this. Anybody who who does not want to ban guns, they want to kill kids and 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 that is the end of it. And that's how the left operates with with just about everything, you know. They say they want a national conversation uh, on on various items, but the national conversation always inevitably becomes our way or the highway. You either do what we say or you're a terrible horrible person. You know that's that's it's that's the that's that's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's always been the deal. It's always going to be the deal. It is not going to change. So what we need to do is we need to push back on that. We need to point out 
things like the Maryland shooting where, where, you know, where a good guy with a gun stopped a shooter and prevented a tr- what could have been a very real tragedy. You know, you need to talk to your friends and your family. Every time they bring up gun control, be like, well, what about, what about Maryland? What gun, what gun laws, what gun laws would have stopped that kid from going into, into that school? In fact, bring it to Parkland. You know, bring it to, to, to Las Vegas, to, to, to the, to the Texas church shooting, Sandy Hook, any shoot, any school shooting. Ask liberals to name one law that would have prevented any of that. You won't get an answer. What you'll get is you'll, you'll get, you know, the standard line about, well, something needs to be done. Something has to, you, you don't, you, you want to kill kids and blah, blah, blah. Or you'll get all these nonsense laws like background checks. You know, we need, we need to have background checks. We need to ban guns. We need to, you know, we need to, we need to, to decrease magazine sizes and blah, 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 blah. All stuff that's not actually going to work. So talk to your friends who who are pro gun control. Argue with them. You know, point out their stupidity on guns. You might be able to convince a couple of them, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't expect it. I wouldn't if if you've got hardcore leftist friends, uh, I would I would not expect any any sort of uh any sort of of logical argument coming from that. But you know what? Try it anyway. And every time you, every time the conversation comes up, you know, if you're in a, if you're in a setting where, where you're talking politics and gun control comes up, ask those questions. Ask what gun laws would have, would stop mass shootings. Ask for one gun law that would have prevented Parkland. Watch liberals sputter and, and cry and scream and rant and rage or watch them just completely ignore you. But we need to start pushing back, and we need to start pushing back hard on this. Because if we don't, we're going to find that our rights are going to be taken away wholesale. You know, it's not just going to be ban one type of gun. It's not just going to be ban all magazine sizes over, say, 10 rounds or whatever arbitrary number the left comes up with. No, it's going to be... It's going to turn into, you know, you no longer have a right to defend yourself in any way, shape, or form. You must give up your guns. You must turn in your guns. And that's the only thing. That's the only, and that's the only, that's the only thing the left is going to accept. We need to push back on this, ladies and gentlemen. We have to do it. And we have to start at home and in our circle of friends. That's the only way we're going to direct the national conversation away from what the left wants and into an actual discussion where we might be able to come up with some real concrete solutions. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. What do you think about all this? What do you think is the best way to direct that national conversation on gun control? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you liked what you heard. Both of those things help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all next time.